as well as the standard fair use policy, this video is protected under the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1787. Moors are awake. We are taking our place on this planet. Country Meadows versus Tariq Samar Day and Erica Witherspoon. Case number 23C0276. Christopher Borkin for the plaintiff. Uh, Tariq Samar Tariq Ade. Thank you. Mr. Day, did you serve this uh, notice to principal? Is notice to agent, notice to agent, is notice to principal, administrative procedure motion that you filed with Mr. Borkin? What in the doohickey does that even mean? It's clear that this gentleman is a student of Sharon Tracy Gale Bay. Uh, it was a... Sir, you my said, question was simple. Did you file it with Mr. Borkin? Uh, I don't believe so. You have to file I anything said. you file with this court with Mr. Borkin and opposing counsel is considered not filed. That's the court rule for any court. Oh, okay. That was... I must have uh, missed that. Well, of course you missed that because you're not a lawyer. So obviously that is something that you would not know, which is why it is imperative for you to be represented by a lawyer. It is in your best interest, but you are too foolish to understand that. So he filed something called Affidavit of High Prerogative Writ of Quote Quote. Pro warranto. Warranto. Yes, ma'am. It's not something that gets filed in a district court anyway, but he did file that, and I, I presume he's going to file that with you. Thank you, Your Honor. I will do that. Your Honor, my property, uh, my client is here um, to chime in. if it's necessary uh, to take testimony. I'm, I'm not even sure what this document is. He is filing something here that um, he wants a fraud of false claims for $30,000 conspiracy, $250,000 failure to respond, $1 million failure to respond is outlined a million dollars Summons to the court, which you can't do. Uh, I'm not even sure what any of that means. Responsive communications, 250 a page, and then two million three hundred and six hundred and thirteen thousand five hundred dollars for review and research of responsive communications at five hundred dollars an hour. But he says it's eight hours. Okay, so those numbers were pretty hard to keep up with, but nevertheless, this. Morris Sovereign Citizen is suing the court for about $5 million, and he really believes in his heart of hearts that he is going to become a millionaire thanks to the court system. This guy is a freaking idiot. So, uh, the property was put into a uh, trust as a trust property. And the subject matter of the trust uh, is um, the subject matter of the of this case is under the trust. The case number or account number has been uh, conveyed to trust as well. And I was seeking to have uh, this matter handled uh, with equity. What the hell are you talking about? Mr. Day. I'm seriously becoming very concerned about your mental capacities, which is a very unique situation to have to deal with in a civil case. Um, I'm so glad that the judge is aware that there is a serious possibility that this man has some type of mental illness. All of his crazy demands clearly indicate that this man needs a medical evaluation. There is something not right with this gentleman. 
I'm not sure what to say to that. Uh, ultimately, ultimately, if uh, just seeking for the the uh, plaintiff to provide that the original negotiable instrument wasn't uh, securitized, because if it was invested or securitized, it means that uh, it should be discharged. Say what? Mr. Borkin, um, uh, do you have a response to whatever? I, I would focus on the complaint that we filed, which was for non-payment of rent. I would indicate that there's still an amount of rent owed to date. Uh, Mr. Borkin, I fully understand that. However, at this point in time, the court just indicated that I have some concerns about his mental capacity as to whether or not he should be trying to represent himself in a court of law at this time because I don't think that he fully understands what's happening here today. So I'm not going to proceed unless I feel like he fully understands what's happening, which is a problem. I like this judge because she is fully aware that the sovereign citizen crap that this man is spewing is so outrageous that he must have some type of mental issue because only a mentally challenged person would say the type of things that this man is saying uh your honor i believe there's another defendant on the complaint um i don't i don't know if they're present today is miss erica weatherspoon present with you uh no she's not she's currently nine months pregnant all right i am um... First of all, Mr. Borkin, I'm not I'm not willing to move forward on this today. I have to do several things. One is I want him to file with you the motion that he filed with this court. So that needs to go to you. Two, I need to research how to do a referral in a civil case. Um, if that can be done in a landlord tenant case so that he fully understands what's happening, because I don't think he understands the proceedings that are going on right now. And then three, um, I'm gonna refer him to speak with someone at legal services so that I can at least feel like he's had that ability to communicate with someone. If he doesn't do that, then that's a whole separate subject um, because then maybe I can at least justify moving forward with where we are right now. But at this point, I am not comfortable moving forward. You see, this judge, she has a heart. She feels that this man might be mentally ill because of the nonsense that he's spouting so she's going to give him some time to go speak with an attorney to then make that determination whether he's going to continue to represent himself or not if it was me i would just let him represent himself and find him guilty because he's clearly going to lose this man didn't pay rent because he's a sovereign citizen and he believes that he's above the law. So I would just let him go on ahead and represent himself so that way he will lose and then get evicted. Point blank, period. Uh, Your Honor, I would provide my email address and he could he could send uh, his motion to my, to my email if that's easier. Thank you. Mr. Day, um, are you able to- Yes, ma'am. Are you able to determine, are you able to see what's in the chat feature, sir? I think. Um, do you know how to get to chat? No, ma'am. I'm sorry. Right. What you're going to need to do is look on your phone. Do you see three dots at the top of your phone that say more? I'm, I'm currently on a laptop. Oh, okay. So look at the bottom of okay. your screen. Do you see where it says chat? You see something in red at the bottom that says 32 or 33? I do see chat. All right, click on that and you should see his contact information in there. You need to file this notice, motion, whatever you call it with him. Okay, so that's first step. Two, you need to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm referring you over to legal services so that you can talk to them about the nature of these proceedings so that you fully understand them, okay? Okay. And that is, um, they have hours between 10 and 11.30 on Tuesdays and then, 2 and 3.30 on Thursday, okay? Okay. And then um, I believe the last thing I said was um, 
once you've served them with that motion, I'm going to look into whether or not you're whether or not there's a, the ability to refer for competency. And I'll have that answer when we come back here next week. I'm going to adjourn it over for one week to see where we are with all of this. Uh, am I not able to ask for a jury trial? Is that another a different process? You can ask for a jury trial. There will also be an escrow where you have to put your money in escrow until that time comes. Oh, okay. Is that the uh, escrow? Is that um? Is is that something that you all provide? You have to come to the court and put your money into the yeah. Play it here at the courthouse, sir. Okay. Now that there will possibly be an escort involved, we know this man is not about to do that because he f already failed to pay his rent. So why would he now come to the courthouse, give a big lump sum of money, and that same money he might possibly lose? Matter of fact, better yet, he is going to lose because he owes the rent. So he, he's definitely not going to go that route. And you have to file the proper demand for a jury trial. That's probably why you need legal counsel. Okay. Okay. So how much is the rent per month? Are you asking me, ma'am? No, or? I'm asking Mr. Borkin. Okay. So uh, my complaint <clears throat> indicates that uh, monthly rent is $1,083. $1,083. So that's how much you'll need to be placing in the escrow until the trial happens. Okay, sir? Okay. Is, um, because I think my partner, she completed a, uh, something with, uh, Michigan Bridges, um, to maybe get some kind of a extension or a help or something financially. Look, we have another sovereign citizen that doesn't want to recognize the U.S. law or the U.S. government now reaching out to the to that very same government for assistance with his rent. These sovereign citizens are such hypocrites. They don't even fully understand that the simple fact that they're reaching out to a government that they believe don't have jurisdiction or whatever the heck they believe it makes all of their arguments and their beliefs null and void because you can't then say that you don't want to buy by the laws of the land because this government doesn't have jurisdiction over you and that this government is fictitious and then in the next breath turn around and reach out to that same government for government assistance it doesn't work that way. Your arguments are fraudulent. You guys just need to wake up and face reality. Uh, that may be true, but if you request a jury trial, you have to put your money in escrow. If you don't, then you waive your right to that jury trial. Okay. Okay. That's why I'm telling you to go over and talk to legal services. Yes, ma'am. Yep. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to bring you all back here on March 15th. You need to serve him with that document, okay? Yep, yes. And then I'll see you here on March 15th. I'm going to schedule this at 3.30. 3.30. Okay? Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, I must say, this judge was very polite to this sovereign citizen. She even seemed like she genuinely cared about him not about him getting his fair chance in court so hopefully this sovereign citizen listens to this judge and goes talk to an attorney because if he doesn't he's going to get railroaded <laughs> Thank you.